Hi, it's me again, Anastasia and Dream and Draw Art School. And in this lesson, we'll draw a bright door and autumn leaves. Let's begin. For this lesson, we need a watercolor paper A5 format, and we we'll always draw on a textured paper side. Then, of course, we need a pencil, a waterproof black liner, any eraser, watercolor set, two brushes, the bigger one and the smaller one, palette napkins, glass of water, and a white gel pen. Prepare the materials and let's begin. So let's begin with the pencil. And of course, let's draw two lines. The first one is vertical line that divides our paper into two parts, approximately the same parts. And of course, the second line, the horizontal line, again, that divides our paper approximately into two uh, parts of the same size. And of course, I will press the pencil down hard so you will see my drawing on the video better, but you do not press the pencil that hard as I will do because it will be harder for you to erase it afterwards. So let's begin with the bottom line of the stairs. So the first line is here, then we'll make the second line a bit to the top like this, well, actually the same line. Then uh, let's draw the door and I will start with two lines here, one on the left and one on the right. And of course, I will draw one line that will show the top part of the door. And now just connect all these lines like this. So, great, and now let's draw the beautiful leaves, beautiful plants around the door. And I will begin with the wavy lines like this. So I go on this corner of the door, then I go up here on this area as well. And I'm just making simple wavy lines to show the beautiful leaves that will draw afterwards so then we go down here on this area and then we go up and again here like this and of course i want to draw a bit more of the tree here maybe again just some bush or some other plant here so now let's draw the inner part of the door and of course I'm just making the a double line here, one line, then the second one here and of course the top line approximately here on this area, of course. So great, and now let's make the other details for the stairs. So the first line I'm making Again, a double line here, so I make just two lines down, one line here and one line here, and then I just connect them to show the top surface of the stairs here. Then we draw one line here and one more line here. So the stair is ready. And of course, now let's draw the lines to show the bottom part, maybe the uh, ground or something here. I'm just making several uh, horizontal lines. So great. And now let's draw the details on the door itself. And I want to begin with the lines, with the vertical lines that will show the wooden panels on the door. So I want to draw the, um, well, maybe the five lines. So not the five lines, but the five panels and I need to draw one line then the second one so I need to draw four lines actually the third and the fourth okay so now let's draw the line for the bottom part of the door here like this then we draw the handle on this area. Then we draw the part for the post or the mail here, like a simple rectangle. 
Then, of course, let's draw the circle for the eye here, and then the handle for knocking the door. So here I'm making just a simple rectangle. Then I draw two lines here from the left side and from the right side and the handle itself. That will give the sound. So great. And I also want to draw the lantern, small lantern here. So first of all, I'm making the line and then I just draw one form here like this then i go down and you see i'm just using this line as a central line to make the lantern lantern symmetrical like this and of course we need to uh, draw the handle of the lantern here and of course the bottom part maybe like this so great and now of course let's make the uh, leaves the uh, uh, greenery look more uh, like a three-dimensional and we need just to divide some segments inside so again i'm just making well several lines several um, wavy lines inside like this well maybe one more here and i want to show a bit of the stone texture around the door so i just start from this point and i'm making several lines they are parallel to each other and they are of the same size and maybe i have the same distance between them so later we will form the bricks like this so and now let's make the lines inside and of course i do the same thing here on the other lines so i make just a vertical lines to form the bricks to form the texture the sense of the bricks that we have there maybe and of course we can draw just a single brick if we want to like this and maybe one more on this area. So great, the pencil drawing is done and now we are moving on to the outline. And of course, before you make the outline with your liner or with your ballpoint pen, just make sure it is waterproof. You can write something on a separate sheet of paper and use the wet brush. And you will see, is it waterproof or not? And if it is not waterproof, then make the outline after the watercolor step. So I want to begin with the tree with the plant with the leaves that we have here and of course i do the same wavy line curvy line so i do the lines as quickly as i can so i try to make them really random and free like this so here we have lots of leaves lots of texture beautiful texture and you see that sometimes i'm making the interruptions in line so my line my uh well making the outline is not just with the one line so you see i make several movements uh, several waves and then i interrupt the line and then again, I continue making this beautiful and interesting wavy motions like this. So great. Now let's make the lines of the door, of course. So here I'm just making the same lines. Then I go down and here I have the stairs, so this one, then I go down and I do the same lines, the same movements that I made in pencil. 
So great, and now let's make the line here. I will make this line a bit lower. So just like this. And then of course, I will want to make these lines as well. And here, I'm just going to this line until this line starts, and then I start making the outline. So I'm not outlining this line here. And then the same for the other lines. So of course, if I have some detail, I'm not making the outline there, of course. So great, now let's make the outline of the lantern as well. So the same lines here and the handle here. Then I go down and here I want to make double lines like this. And one more detail here. So we can actually just cover this one and this one with black so great and now let's make the lines for the bricks for the wall and of course here i try to make them a bit more like the bricks with the soft edges like this so you see i'm not making the straight lines i'm just making some bricks a bit more maybe old and sometimes I'm not uh, drawing them uh, till the end, so I'm not making the outline of the whole brick. Just some lines to show that we have there something. Like this. So great, and the last thing I want to do here is that I want to add some texture volume to the uh, these leaves and I want to add some branches. So the first line will be here. And of course, if it is difficult for you uh, right now, you can do the same lines in the pencil and then just make the outline with a liner or with your pen. So great, I think that's enough. And now let's make the lines for the shadows like this. So I'm just making the hatches like the dots, lines, dashes. So we have some shadows here on these areas. And of course we have shadow areas on the other parts all of these leaves as well. And of course, I want to show some light that goes out from the lantern. That's why I make the shadow parts here on this area. And here I will add some hatches, lines, dashes here on the opposite side to show the light that will be here. So great, the outline is done and now I'm picking the eraser. I will use this one, it is the kneadable eraser from Faber-Castell and if you don't have 
if you don't have exactly the same eraser it's okay you can use any other eraser that you have at home just apply it really carefully in order not to damage the watercolor paper and of course let's erase all the pencil So oh, great, now we are on the watercolor step and of course I'm adding some water on the palette and of course I'm adding some water on each pan, on each color that I will use. Of course I will use the oranges, the ochre color, the violet color, yellow color, so brown. All these colors should be with water. So I'm just adding. And if we add some water on the pan, it will be easy for us to pick the color. And if we add some water on the palette, it will be easy for us to mix the colors. So let's begin with the ochre color and with the yellow. I will use the yellow like this. It is the lemon yellow color. So I'm adding it on the palette. And of course, I'm adding the ochre color like this. It is the uh, yellow ochre. And I'm adding a bit of the brown and my brown is burnt umber. So let's do the surroundings and I will begin with the yellow color of course. And I'm starting from this point and I'm making a circle like this. Then I go and make the circle bigger. You can use the mixture of the yellow plus ochre here. Then, of course, I'm covering the part of the wall with this color. And then I go down and I use more of the ochre and less of the yellow color. Like this. So actually we can add the yellow color, the pure yellow color here on this area to make the lantern shine. And now I'm picking the brown color, but really light brown. And I'm adding the brown here and on this area as well. If you have extra water or extra paint on your paper, just remove it with your brush. Use the napkin, just, um, well, clean your brush like this with a napkin and then pick the extra color, pick the extra water from the paper. And after that, it will be easier to make beautiful colors, beautiful mixtures here like this. So great, now let's add the same uh, but without the yellow color on this side. So I'm starting with the ochre on this area and here as well. And after that, I'm just adding brown color to make beautiful shades. And again, I'm just making the soft edges. I'm cleaning my brush with a napkin and I'm just picking the extra water, extra color from the paper like this. And the same thing here. So great, now let's mix the other colors and we will do the beautiful leaves and I will use yellow plus orange plus uh, red color and of course brown. So actually the same colors and my red color looks like this. It is the cadmium red, like cadmium red color and the orange color is like this. So again, uh, this orange looks like the cadmium orange. And we'll begin with the yellow color and what we are doing. So we are adding yellow color on the 
upper parts of the leaves and then we go down and we add a bit of the orange and where we have the shadows done with the liner we add red and brown so we need to make the beautiful transitions from the light color to the orange and then to the dark color and i will do it with my bigger brush of course so i'm adding the yellow like this then i pick the orange and i add orange while the first color is still wet and you see how they mix the watercolor flows easily from one color to the other like this now let's pick the red color and of course add the red color to the dark side so I'm just tapping with the red color and the color spreads itself like this. So the same thing I will do with the other parts. Here we have the light spot um, on the lantern. That's why we'll have different um, dark and uh, light uh, shadow parts. So here we'll have the light part and here we will have the dark. And the same thing here, light and dark here. So you see now I'm starting with the yellow color here because we have the light spot and I go up and now I'm adding a bit of the orange and of course the red color as well. Also, I'm adding some strokes near the leaves, like this or this one, to show that the leaves can maybe flow or they can fall down. So now we have the last place here and I'm adding the orangey-yellow color again, like this. And the same thing here, so we have the light area here and the dark here.
So great, and now let's make the door and I will use the purple color for this door. My purple, just a regular purple color. So it looks like this. And of course, we need to make the top part of the door darker and the bottom part lighter. That's why I will use water to make the purple color a lighter, of course. So I'm starting with the dark purple. And of course, I will make the beautiful transition from dark purple to light purple with my brush and with the water directly on the paper. So I'm using the dark color. It's okay if you cover the details. So here I'm adding the dark purple color and again, of course, I'm trying not to touch the oranges, the <laughs> red colors, but if you do, like I did here, it's okay. So it is not a mistake, actually, so just feel free and make the beautiful transitions. Enjoy the watercolor, enjoy how it flows. So here we are, and I'm adding a bit of water on the palette, I mix. And then I go down with a lighter version of the purple. Well, I think I will do just some area a bit lighter here. And of course, now again, I'm using water and a mix again. And I go down with the lighter purple. And again, I'm coloring all the bottom part with the light purple here. And of course, I have the extra water here. And I'm just cleaning my brush with a napkin and collecting the extra color with my brush like this. And now I will use this smaller brush and I will mix the brown color, the, well, the light brown, like this, with the purple a bit. And we'll get the beautiful shade of brown. And I want to uh, make the bricks a bit more interesting. And I will start from this area. I'm making this area a bit darker. Then I mix with the water and make the bricks a bit lighter, but I'm just making the lines here between the bricks to make them more like three-dimensional. Actually, you can add more of the details, for example, here if you want to, of course. And I will do the same on the other parts. But of course, I will use the lighter version, the lighter brown here near the lantern. So I'm having the light brown. And when I go down, I will use the darker version. Like this. And I'm adding a bit of the shadow on this area. And then I'm just mixing it with water. So, and the same thing here. And I'm using the darker color to make a small shadow. And again, I'm just mixing it with water like this. So great. And let's use the same color for the stairs. And my color is like this. I'm just mixing it a bit more. So I'm covering the stairs with this color here. And I'm using the darker version of it. So I mix again the same, the purple and the brown, but I use the darker version like this. And I'm covering this part here with the darker brown. 
and of course I will use the lighter version for the ground but a bit later. So great, now let's use the color that we have here on the palette. So you see I have the brown, I have the uh, orange, so I mix all them together and we get some kind of a ochre again. And let's use it for the door frame. So we have the frame and I want to um, make this door frame with this color. So sometimes you can use more of the yellow color, sometimes more of the orange, sometimes more of the brown, for example. Uh, here on this area we have the lantern and we have the light spot, that's why I will use more of the yellow. So I'm picking the yellow here from the palette, like this. Then I go down and I want to make the filling of the shadow, that's why I'm using more of the brown like this. And actually you can add the brown color on this area as well to make it a bit darker. So great, we have the little space here and I'm using the color that I've used for the stairs. I'm using it for the shadow. So great, and we have this part um, using the same color like the yellowish orange or the yellowish ochre. for the door frame and of course the same color I'm using for this part of the door like this. I'm just covering it with this color. So great and now let's mix all the colors again together. I have here brown, purple and a bit of the red and let's do the ground, so I'm just adding the lines here, like this. Okay, that's enough. And let's use the ochre, the pure ochre color for the handle and for this small detail. So I'm covering the handle and this area for the males. like this. Also, I will use the ochre color to start covering the lantern and I will begin with this part. Then of course I will wait a bit and then I will add some dark lines to make lantern three-dimensional. And I have some extra water here and extra paint so I'm just collecting it with my brush and using the napkin. So great, and now it is the time for shadows. I will use the brown color plus purple, so the same mix that we had already. And of course, sometimes I will use this color a bit lighter and sometimes a bit darker, so I'm just mixing a lot of it on my palette. And the lighter version and the darker version, they are of the same mixture, so brown plus purple. And of course, let's add some dark lines here to show the frame of the door to make it a bit more contrasty and more interesting. So I'm making it here. The same thing on the other side. And the same thing here. One line here at the bottom of the stairs. So the lighter version here near the lantern, of course. And when I go down, I use the darker version, like this. So great, now let's add two strokes on this area and on the bottom part of the door. And of course, I will use this color a bit mixed with the red. So here in my palette, I'm making the mixture. And I'll use this color, well, it is like a brown, to make some shadows on the leaves. 
and I'm making them like this, just I'm tapping, making the small strokes on the shadow area. Then I clean my brush, so I have no paint on my brush, only water, and I'm making uh, the transition to the lighter area only with my wet brush, like this. I'm just tapping and making beautiful shades. So, and the same thing I will do on the other parts. So great, and of course the same color I will use for the dark parts on the lantern and I will use them here on the top part, then again on this area. I'm coloring it, not the whole, not the entire part, but I will leave just small uh, light area here in the center and the edges they are dark. And the same thing here, so I'm just coloring the edges, the corners and the central part should be lighter, like this. Now I'm picking the orange color and I will add some spots here inside with the orange and just make them a bit more soft inside. So great, now we should wait until our sketch is completely dry and then we are moving on to the details. So great, my sketch is completely dry and now let's take the white gel pen and let's do some highlights. So first of all, let's do the highlights on the door and I will do it here on these lines. I go up and the same thing here. So I'm just making the lines inside each panel. like this. So here you see I'm making two lines and the liner line is inside. So I'm not covering it with the white, I'm leaving it inside. Then again we go up and the same thing here. Two lines and the liner black line inside. So great, now let's make the lines inside the handle and of course I'm making the lines inside this part like this. Then of course we have this circle and we have some highlights on the knocking handle of course. So and I'm adding some lights here just the vertical lines and also I want to add some lines near the lantern because we have lots of light here. I'm making the lines inside the bricks, some of them on this area as well, but not too much, mostly here of course. 
then two lines on this area and that's all and now i'm picking the black liner and let's add some dark lines of course so i will begin with the door and i'm making uh, some lines darker here on this area so i'm pressing down the liner hard and you see that the line is really dark then i go up and I try to make my line suddenly disappearing here on this area. I'm not uh, making the line um, go up, so I just try to make the um, bottom part darker, but then my line just disappears like this. And the same thing here. Then we go here to the top and we make the lines dark. And the same thing here. So I'm making just uh, some hatches and you see that the line is darker, yes, but here on this area, I'm leaving it like this. So I'm not making it dark on the place where we have the lantern. And the same thing here. Then, of course, let's make these lines dark and then this one. So I'm just covering uh, the line with the black liner. Let's make this part really dark because it is the bottom part. And I'm making this line dark as well. Some lines here at the bottom of course and I'm going to make the lines inside here a bit darker and again you see I'm making just some hatches and then they disappear somewhere inside the door then of course let's make the line dark here and here so I need to make some details a bit more contrasty and of course the handle here i'm making it darker like this and some lines on the lantern itself on the sides on the corners i'm just covering them with the dark lines like this and the last thing of course let's add some details here on this area like a rectangle long rectangle but they are small actually so one and the second one here then some lines on the branches i'm making them a bit darker but not too much just some lines and of course, the last thing we should do here is to put a signature. I will place it here at the bottom part of the paper. And our sketch is ready. You've done a great job drawing in my basic paint sketching course, which I'll tell you about in the final lesson of this free course. You'll learn how to draw various architecture, stone, trees and much more. See you in the next lessons.